Baylor and Ohio State, Purdue, Notre Dame. There are some big schools in this field, which could certainly uh, make things a little entertaining here in this final heat of the 1600 meter sprint medley relay. Actually, we do have on the updated top 25. We have two top 25 teams in this in this relay. We have Baylor, and then uh, we have Texas. Actually, Texas at four. Baylor's at 17. Um, Iowa's just outside the top 25. Great program at Iowa, as we mentioned before. And it looks like there's no scratches, which should make things really good here to close out this Women's University Division Final for the Sprint Medley. Ohio State, they're the top finisher returning this year. They finished second with a 347.87. Three athletes returned from last year's team. And then Baylor, they finished third. And then Indiana State, they finished fourth last year. But for Baylor, only one of their athletes returns from last year. And that is Alicia Williams, the senior. Iowa has Brianna Guillory here uh, running the 100, and she has a PR of 11.35 so far this year, which is really, very really strong. Fast. Yeah, Really good time. Also look out for Lake Quaza. The, top, the uh, first runner for the Hawkeyes, very good right out of the gates. She has a 23.17 as a PR on the year in the 200, so that's pretty impressive. A um, lot of great runners in this race. Oh, yeah, and then when we had our meeting earlier today talking about uh, the different athletes, Lake Quaza, who's going to be running this opening leg for the Hawkeyes, she actually wants to own the Chicago Bulls. A little fun fact there. Interesting aspiration there. Unfortunately, they didn't make the playoffs this year, but maybe that would maybe that would change with with Lake Quaz as the owner. Yeah, they should <laughs> they should look into that. <laughs> Definitely. So out of the first handoff, pretty close. We have Lake Quaz oh. there. Baylor's pulling up. Looks like an injury. And that is, nev like that is never good to see. Hate to see that. <coughs> you can actually see her roommate. She's run all the way to see if she's okay. And the training staff is attending to her right now, as well as her teammates. Texas falling off a little bit of the lead now. I was taking the inside line. Um, pretty good strategy there. So a really good start for the Iowa Hawkeyes. And Ohio State, again, they finished second last year. They are in second right now. And there you see the training staff again attending to one of the Baylor runners. Looks like a pretty serious injury. Um, from just the amount of training staff that are there. And they were one of the top teams coming in for this event. You just, you never, never no matter who it is, it, you never, never like to see that. But the Hawkeyes still leading here in heat three of the Sprint Medley University Division Final for the women. We have Iowa and Ohio State 1-2 here, so two Big Ten schools at the front of this race with Texas not far behind there. And actually uh, in second place right now. Texas trying to passing. catch up with, um, with Iowa. Monty Watts, the junior, running for Iowa. So now Texas has solidified the second position. Watts has a best time of 207 and an 800 this year, so. She's going up against a freshman who's in second, Gabby Crink. And then Ohio State is in, th in third, and that is Rachel Weber, the junior. So they're looking to knock off North Dakota State, who's out on the top with a 356.22. Texas electing to go with somebody besides their top 800 runner in this in this event, but that doesn't seem to be mattering that much. Um, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty open opportunity for a pass here in second right now. It actually looks like Texas is catching up right now. 
Strong move by Texas here. And that is just a freshman, Gabby Crank. Trying to come away with the win, but Iowa holding off pretty strong. It's Monty Watts, the junior. Great poise there. Iowa in front of a home crowd. <laughs> Great sprint right there by Iowa. Trying to defeat the top time by North Dakota State. Looks like they're going to get it. And 352.62 for Iowa as they win. Great poise there to hold off Texas in the final turn by Iowa. So Iowa, Texas, and Purdue are your top three in the 1600 meter Sprint Medley University Division Final. And we're going to go back down to the field where Lauren Velasco got a chance to catch up with the Sprint Medley champs, Oklahoma Baptist. Lauren Velasco reporting to you from the Blue Oval. I'm standing here with the winners of the Sprint Medley Relay from Oklahoma Baptist. Guys, considering the weather today, what's going through your mind during this race? Well, we just wanted to uh, defend our title from last year, so we came in a mindset that uh, we were going to do our best no matter how the weather was, even though we were kind of prepared for the weather because we knew it was going to rain. Iowa is not that good of a weather, but we was ready for today. And as you're running, what's going through your mind so that you can close off the race successfully? Honestly, just to get the baton around. And despite the weather, we had to do what we had to do. So and that's what we did. Uh, what else are you guys looking forward to uh, today's relay? Um, we got the 4x4, and these two guys had the 4x1 a little bit later, so we're trying to win them both. Um, we're seated, uh, you guys were seated second in the 4x1, and we're seated second in the 4x4 too. So we're going to try and come out and win them both. Good luck today, guys. Back to you in the booth. Oklahoma Baptist always has a good showing here at the relays, and again, they won the sprint medley college division final earlier this morning. So there you see on the screen, Iowa with the win in front of their home crowd here, 352.62 in the Sprint Medley University Division Final. And now we'll be heading to the men's side of the Sprint Medley. So getting all the relay events done here to start off this morning. And we have Nebraska in Heat 1. Uh, Nebraska is in the top 25 on the men's side as a team right now. So a great program there. And actually South Dakota right now, all the team are freshmen right now. It's gonna be like a really interesting race too for South Dakota to see like how the freshmen are preparing for this race and everything. And also like going back to what we said before, also to see like how they do in the future and everything. We have Drake in this race as well. Looks like Marquette and Eastern Michigan are the drops. But Drake, they finished fifth in Heat 2 of the Sprint Medley for the women's division. So we'll see how the men do here in Heat 1. Northern Iowa, South Dakota, Nebraska, DePaul, and UW-Milwaukee. And the Drake Bulldogs, they are going to be in this one. But... Got a pretty good group here, Demetrius Shelton, Aaron Shear, and then Pierce Vinson, who had a great day yesterday, and then James Saxon, hoping to put together something positive for the uh, the Bulldogs track and field team. And, uh, and Vinson has run a PR of 1032 in the 100 this year, which is just a great time for a 100-meter runner, and 2118 in the 200, which is very impressive as well. So just a great all-around sprinter, um, multidisciplinary. Well, they, they will be relying upon him for a lot here if the Bulldogs want a, a good finish. Some good schools here in Heat 1 as we're underway for the Sprint Medley Relay 1,600-meter Men's University Final. So off the handoff. And actually, we, have a, we had a yellow flag in the first – and off. That's uh, the Wisconsin-Milwaukee with the lead there. Yeah, it looks like the Panthers 
with a pretty commanding lead after the first couple. Of, that's uh, that's a great handoff as well there. This team obviously knows how to run in the rain. <laughs> Nebraska so. catching up, though. You can see a little bit of a stride length difference with Nebraska right now. As Tanner Townsend, the junior for the Cornhuskers. But still, Wisconsin-Milwaukee with the lead. Here down the final stretch of this leg, Nebraska making that pass there. Again, the stride's just making a little bit of a difference down that final stretch. Northern Iowa moves into third over DePaul. Edgar Props, the junior for the Cornhuskers, has it. Tony Sustacek has it for UW-Milwaukee. He's the senior. And Nebraska really doesn't have enough separation right now for the pack to be comfortable at all by any means. Yeah, in any moment they can catch up with you or something. So, yeah, Nebraska needs to keep an eye behind its back and also like to run a good race right now. And actually like University of Northern Iowa right now catching up for second place. That's what it looks like. Yeah, they're certainly in striking distance here. And they're led by a sophomore, Dylan Eigenberger. Nebraska does not have their fastest 800 meter time in this medley. So that might have a little bit of an effect on the results. University of Northern Iowa right now catching up for second place and I think also eventually is going to catch up for first place so we'll have to see about that. Yeah you and I has put themselves in pretty good position to make a pass here on the outside. Oh but DePaul. then look at DePaul. The Blue Demons. DePaul with the surprising kick there. I'm battling right now with uh, Northern Iowa. What a start to this university division final in the sprint medley. And University of Iowa with the lead right now for the final 100 meters. Nebraska all the way down to fourth place. Now it looks like third place, but University of Northern Iowa is going to take it home. Good kick there. What a finish by you and I coming all the way from fourth place to end up taking first in the first heat with a 324.34. And that was the sophomore closing it out. DePaul with a nice finish as well. Nebraska in third and then Wisconsin-Milwaukee in fourth. 